In this video, I make a T-slot cleaner for my Chinese mill drill. You can see here the T-slot. So this is a, a Bridgeport one. This is the, the real T-slot cleaner, and you can see the difference in T-slots. It just does not work out here. I started by measuring the bottom of the slots, because the T's the top is going to be thinner. I should have measured the back, because being a Chinese, they were different sizes. So I transferred that measurement to my calipers and just picked some aluminum stock that was uh, thicker. I just used a three jaw chuck for this because I wasn't too concerned about uh, the tolerances on it. It's just a quick tool I'm making one night and with a piece of scrap. I set some uh, measurements down some lines. And you can see those boxes in the back are uh, part of my uh, Jeep motor swap that I need to get going on. So I got Jeep parts behind me. Yeah. And I used a lathe to mark out just kind of some roughing of where I wanted things to go. I wanted a nice big handle on this and I wanted it round so it was felt comfortable while you're using it. I had the lathe going at a pretty slow speed, but I sp and I went slow with it, but I uh, sped some of this up. I believe this is either 5 or 10x right here. And I don't think I had my lathe bit centered. That probably would have helped a little bit here. But I was just going quick. And I have one that has a, an angle on it. So you can see how on the left side there it's making a nice taper. I'm just trying to rough it to diameter. And there I checked it. And I'm kind of marking out the bottom. Actually I believe that's the whole T itself. So that's the slot depth that I marked out right there. And I'll just turn it down more to that point and do some of the T's in the mill. Didn't want to take too much. And you can see here I got most of it uh, done already. Yep, now I'm adjusting the height on that, but I think I put the different lathe bit in. So I can get the taper on the other side. So I think this is one of the, just the cut for the right hand. So I wanted to narrow a little bit just so I had something to hold on to there. Because I kind of had the idea to polish it and try anodizing this. But I... Uh, don't think I'm going to do that. I don't think it's worth the time. Maybe if I need to practice anodizing something. And you can see I'm putting a lot of force against it there. You can see it kind of bending. And it's okay because it's thick enough, but uh, it's questionable. I need a follower rest to go on that. I just don't have one for this lathe. It would be nice. It's on my things I'm looking for. This old South Bend Heavy 10 or 10L. It's a great lathe. And I'm just hand sanding just to kind of make it a little bit nicer. And you can see I have a 5C uh, square collet there. Or collet with a square holder just in that uh, cheap Chinese vice that I think came with this mill drill. And I'm just machining each side. This is just the first couple passes so they didn't really matter. And uh, the depth didn't matter. Or the yeah, I guess the, the depth mattered, but not how far it went in right now. And it see it moving there, so I had to stop that job and tighten up that call up much tighter. So I don't have a vice stop for this, so I just used a, a little ruler there to make sure I got the same depth, just so it looked nice and looked about the same each side. I am building a vice stop now, and that's going to be a future project. So if you want to see that, make sure you uh, 
subscribe so you get notifications of uh, my videos when they come out. There I'm setting the, the depth so both sides are the same. And I, I can't take deep cuts with this one, so I was just doing, and it's stuck out there a little ways too. So I'm just doing some, a little cut here, and then flipping it and doing a little cut and just working my way up on it. The reason I'm doing that is I want it to be kind of symmetrical, I guess you could say. Or, and um, without putting layout lines on it, which would be hard to read on something like this, I on my z-axis I don't really have a way since it's the quill it's not a knee that moves up I don't have any markings or a way to really tell my height I could use a depth gauge on it I guess but or something to tell where my mill is but that'd be more setup time I think than just flipping it a vice stop would make that even faster though so that's what I'm working on And I uh, got the T slot almost done. Now I'm just cutting it to its height. And making the actual T of it. And this is 5x speed. It really went fairly quick overall. There, I'm testing it out. So, what I'm doing right here is I'm just taking that sharp lip, I guess you could call it, and trying to feather it in and make it a little bit nicer, I guess. I, I don't like sharp edges on tools like that. It reminds me, whenever I work on John Deere tractor, they always have the sharpest edges, I think. So... I like to round stuff off, any tools or equipment I can, especially if I'm building it. I like to make it nicer. I don't like cutting my hands on stuff. It just, it's not good. So this one's going to make it look nicer and also feel much nicer, especially if I uh, choke up on it and hold it closer to the tip there. You can see I uh, don't have a thread protector on that with that call in there, so it's definitely another thing I want to build too. It's not as dangerous with this because that uh, call it insert kind of covers some of it, but a thread protector would be nice, especially if that call it insert ever got stuck in there and make it easy to get out. Uh, this is just testing it out and see it works pretty good. And then once I get the stuff to the side there, I just vacuum it up. It's the stuff with like the oil on the bottom, and it sticks to that oil, and the vacuum just doesn't quite suck it up. And you can see there's some stuff in that bottom that's probably Cosmoline from shipping from China. It's never been cleaned out. And uh, it does a pretty good job. That's compared to the commercial $1.51 you could buy made out of metal. And this is an aluminum one I made. I made aluminum so it be, wouldn't scratch anything, and... It feels nice. It seems like aluminum does a good job still. You can see the width difference from the bridge ports and the little Chinese one. Well, thanks for watching. Bye.